Let's see. Yeah, because like filling it already, it has... The little burn, we'll get those. Yeah. Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I'm gonna follow up from the last video that I posted in the Super Saga series, where I kind of left you hanging with a question about how we're gonna handle the burr that we've created now that my cylinder head is perfectly machined and flat and perfect. And I should add that the title is not clickbait. That's actually what's about to happen here. Uh, not only are we gonna remove that burr, I'm gonna show you how Danny does that for me, but then also how he resurfaces my cylinder head with a freaking piece of granite. <laughs> So without further ado, let's just hop right into it. And basically I just put some WD-40 and I'm actually bending the file. I know it doesn't seem like it did because it ain't taking much, but I'm just working just a high spot. We're not really even touching the surface yet. Right, because you all can still see the paint yeah. still like almost all intact. Another thing you could also do is take something real sharp and just go across it. And look, we're already got a little bit of a burr right there. So. Oh, whoa. Actually, you can see that it's right there, just a little burr. If we leave that, will the head gasket get caught on it or stay? It could rip the gasket. Look at that. Okay. So now we're real smooth. Man, but a piece of granite like that's probably pretty spendy, huh? I mean, just, you can use it. I mean, it gets used all the time. We use yeah. this all the time. Cost per use. And all I'm doing is putting WD-40 on it. Okay. And the reason is because we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything but Oh my God, to... oh my God, he's putting rocks on my head. Yes. <laughs> so we're just basically <laughs> polishing. Look, look at what you're gonna freak out when you see this. Oh my God. Here we go. You're already. Look at that. Whoa! Oh my God. And I'd actually love to lap the whole surface of the head. So we're definitely going to. But I don't want all the haters to go, what are you doing? With a, a rock? <laughs> a, a la yes. A lap surface is actually preferred. But you're not going to hear that because who says that? And I've lapped heads for, for years. I used to lap heads and um, you're, so I don't know, we, we'll, we'll decide if we're going to edit this away or not edit it away, but this is actually, we're getting into the cool factor. Um, and basically we're not doing anything, so we're not doing anything, why, why are we doing this? I, I kind of understand that, but there's a thing, this is actually flat, and basically all we're doing is the machine finish, you know, we discussed it and leaves little, little jagged edges on there. You can see how the machine was was uh, uh, vibrating. I remember I tell you that all machines have a... Have a Resonant frequency. You, yeah. Frequency, I love that word. And you can't even feel them. They're so smooth. You can see them, but you can't really feel them. And all we're doing right now is we're taking it to the next level of smooth. And that's all we were, we're doing. We're and not, is that really critical for a metal head gasket? It's critical for, for or an MLS an MLS gasket and also for a graphite gasket. Oh. This really should be a graphite gasket, but an MLS is is is, is awesome. And if you notice, I'm changing angles. I like the, remember the, the 45? Yes, oh, I remember. So. I was editing that video this morning. So this is even smoother than what a, a CBN, a CBN melt gets a perfect flat, but you gotta figure it's a blade coming with one little bit spinning, you know, super high RPM and moving across and it makes it flat because everything is so stiff. Well, I can show you factory stuff. Every factory head, if I were to do this to it, you're gonna see this. All of them go rrr, 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 rrr. All of them do. Mm -hmm. What are we doing by this nice flat piece of granite and 400 is we're taking any imperfection in this, you know, at all, 
and taking it really to the next level. I mean, really up to the nice next level. Now look at this. And we didn't sit there and sand this thing and do, you know, anything stupid. I had the cylinder head of my Volkswagen resurfaced by an old, old mechanic guy with a bunch of, oh man, this guy taught me so much and now his shop's out of business is ran poorly, but uh, he resurfaced the cylinder head on my Volkswagen on a belt sander. <laughs> Don't laugh at a belt sander. I I'm not laughing at a belt sander, it was awesome. My car's still running. So it was a belt sander, you put it on there. Yup. He sanded it. Was it wet or dry? It was wet. It was wet, so uh -huh. he was better. Everybody uses, I, I, I did nothing wrong with the bell sander. It's the user. Cross. You can butcher a head with a bell sander and yes. most people are going to. Or you can do as fine of a job as a CBM with a bell sander. Oh. It's, it's an art. You really, you, a guy could butcher up really bad. Oh my God, you can't feel anything. It's gone. Gone. There's no it's bird. Just, it's just like the other the other openings. And isn't it crazy there. that it just shoots through these little holes, the coolant? Yeah, the, the coolant. The, the way they, 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 they do work to, uh, Yeah, it just seems like it's not enough, but what do I know? Okay. Mm. I mean, obviously it's enough because it works fine, but. We do one more time at an opposite 45. I'm gonna post a picture of you with this rock and just be like, this is how Danny resurfaces the yes. head. Yeah, people would have a trick. <laughs> we didn't take anything off. All we did was basically lap the surface. Yeah. So I used to lap all my surfaces. That was just a, a thing. But anyway, I don't know if anybody laps the surfaces anymore. But this I don't is, know. The, the reason you want to lap the surface, or you want it extremely smooth, and you want it like a piece of glass, is because the head expands at twice the rate, and you want the head to move around. On average, twice And the not rate. rip the gasket. Yes. The exactly. old school, some of the, the the people that had the worst times that trying to educate them, educated them, and they've been doing this for a long time, and but they're old school, and they go, no, 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 you want a, a rough surface so you can bite the gasket. No, but it's because it, back then you did. Right, because it was cast iron heads, cast iron block. They and both expanded, and the, expanded same the same thing. What happened? Now in this world, we've got you know aluminum and, and cast iron a lot. And now we've got aluminum on aluminum still, but aluminum expands and contracts much quicker, but much different. So they're probably the same thing for aluminum on, on what, aluminum, right? Yeah, it, it, it's still expanding, yes. It's, it's moving all around. Yeah. It's moving all around. So you so, still want to finish like this if it's aluminum on aluminum. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if, the way that you'll notice, and you're not going to notice it because it's really not i remember talking to, to uh, from there like you know well what what qualifies you to even be having this discussion with us you know nothing nothing i mean but here's how i know that there's something wrong and this is how you'll know and this is maybe people need to get out there and still seeing it when you have a gasket that sticks and expands what it does it rips the gasket yeah from the inside out yes i've seen that yes i have seen and that. it's torn it's like you can almost see it like it tore it Right, because the top the layer sticks to the head, the bottom layer sticks to the block, and then as it expands, it expands the it, fibers in the middle are exactly. what are the weakest link. It, 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 that's because the glue is stronger but, than but, the but, gasket. But, but, but you try to, you know, I mean, like I said, I didn't go no, to I've seen that. school. And I, I've, I've you, seen that before. Yes, and that's what's happening. And so it, it would actually, that's a premature failure of a gasket, but it wasn't the gasket's fault. Mm. It just stuck to here and stuck here and it ripped it in the center. Yeah. So that's that's the thing. So we want to do is now by, by, by doing this. That would be something to discuss in the head gasket live stream. Okay, I'm going to cut it off right there because we actually kind of flow into a topic for another video. Um, but stay tuned for my next video because we will be continuing this Super Saga series. So thank you so much for your support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.